Hey guys, you're welcome to this channel. In this video, we want to discuss the JUPEP 2023 Physics Practical Optics. And uh, if you're new here, thanks for coming back again. And if you are a new person watching this video for the first time or knowing this channel for the first time, uh, this is the Logic Tutor. We upload videos based on practicals and sciences and mathematics and other lectures. So if all this sounds interesting, just click on the subscribe button and also on the bell beside it. It will notify you when we drop our video. So we want to look at this practical now and how we're going to carry it out. So we have the screen, the lens and the ray box. So in this video, we're going to improvise for the ray box because of the inner variability of, or maybe the source of light. So we're going to make use of uh, an, another illuminating object. So we are meant to carry out all procedures. You are provided with converging lens, with a converging lens screen, ray box of which we are going to improvise with. Then other necessary materials are also uh, provided. Arrange the apparatus as shown above. Setting the distance L between the ray box and screen to be 100 cm. So the distance between the screen and the ray box will be 100 cm of screen and the object. So now the next thing is to what? Uh, measure and record the height H naught of the object on the ray box. The object on the ray box is when the ray box is crossed. Uh, we are meant to measure the height, but the uh, illuminating object we are using, we might not be able to measure the height perfectly. But uh, believe me, you in this video, we might not need the values to plot graphs, so it will not really affect us much. But we are still going to use it as far as the experiment is concerned. So now. After that, we are meant to adjust the lens to obtain a sharp magnified image on the screen. So we are adjusting the lens to have a magnified image on the screen. So then we are told to also, um, okay, let's view that. Yeah. We are also told to measure and record, measure and record U, that is distance between the lens and the, and the object, then V, which is distance between the lens and the screen. Are we getting that now? Which is lens and the image, uh, lens and the image. Then H, which is the new height of the image. Then after that, we look at that is corresponding to the position of the lens. So after that, uh, yes, we look at that. So then thereafter, we evaluate U plus V, U V and H over H naught. Then also we repeat the procedure for L equals eighty. 60, 40, and 20. Okay, so then thereafter, we also evaluate. Uh, okay, after evaluating that, we make a table for our readings. So, after making the table, what next? Let's go to the other procedure. So, then we have different graphs. I am doing just one of these two poss possible graphs. You can just make use of one of them. Uh, you can plot one of them yourself. I'll plot one of them in this video. So we are plotting the graph of UV against L, and I'll take the implication of that. So we are plotting the graph of U plus V against U. I'll take the implication of that. So determine the slope pairs of the graphs, either of the two, and be asked any one of them. No one knows the exact question. This is just to brush you off or to give you an idea of the concept. Uh, no, no one knows the exact question. So now the next is you evaluate for the first graph k equals 100 multiplied by uh, the slope. Then the next is uh, m equals s minus 1 for the second graph, that's the slope. Then this is our table. Then you should know all the precautions that you take to obtain accurate results. So now let us see how the experiment is performed and how we can get that result. So this is the illuminating object we are using. That is Kandu. Okay. And after that, I have my meter rule for the measurement of length. Then I have my lens on the lens holder. Then I have the screen right here. This is the screen where the images will be captured. So now let us quickly look at how we're going to perform the experiment. Okay. Now let's proceed. Let's set the distance between the uh, object and the uh, screen to be 100, which is one meter rule. So that is it. So then I will bring this out gently. Oh, I think I will show you this. So from there. So after setting that, we have to bring this out gently. 
So after bringing that out, then what next? I'll bring my lens in between. So now, I bring the lens in between. So let's begin to adjust the lens until we see the physical image of the screen. So uh, that goes. Let's move this a little. So this is a very sharp image here. A very sharp image. You can see upside down. You see? Taking it away, you see it moving. So I think it's, it's very sharp at this point. Very sharp. On the norms, I'm told to measure the height of this, but I won't because it is flipped. It can go higher or shorter. So I'll decide to leave it that way and measure just the distance between the uh, objects between the objects and the lens and then from the lens to the screen so that is just what I measure so but make sure the image is sharp before you take your measurement so then I move on to measure the distance from here let it be actually from the center of this wall because of series of improvisation so I just have to take it the way it's supposed to be so I have from here down here to so zero. So I'll take that from zero to um, I'm having the distance here to be seventy eight point one. So my U is seventy eight point one. So I'll record that seventy eight point one in the table. I'll put that somewhere here. U is 78.1 cm. So now the next is to take the distance between the objects and the length. So I can use a small ruler for that. So I think I have. Um, okay. So from one to so I'm actually having sixteen points sixteen point two sixteen point two if I totally right sixteen point two Okay, 16.5. So let's see 16.5. V equals 16.5. So let's record that to the table. Then the next is to reduce the distance between them to 80. So the distance between them to 80. So this is where we are from. So the distance between them, let's reduce it to 80. So that means I'll reduce this by 20. Okay, so then I'll drive it out, then try to measure the sharp image again, with the sharp magnified image. So I'll take that to, okay, you can see the image again. This is the image. So let me bring the camera out so you can see that very perfectly. So this is the sharp image produced that is inverted. Yeah, that's the image. So, okay, let me just keep the camera here so that we can uh, get it. So, this is the sharp image. So, I'll measure the distance here again. So, let me measure the distance here from the screen to the lens. So, let me start with one. So I can get my result accurately. Okay, that gives me sixty-two point five. So let's break that. U equals sixty-two point five centimeter. So then, what is V? Let me measure that. All right. So V is 
Um, V is actually sixteen points. Okay, this is seventeen. So V is seventeen, seventeen centimeters. So this is when I have eighty. So then, what next? Let us take. Let us make the measurements. Let us reduce the distance to. So, the distance between them to 60 and let's see what happens so this is 80 you can see the object is standing on 80 here 80 so i'll shift it to 60 now it's 60 here so the front should be in line with that 60 so we can take our readings again so I'll drive this out and place this here. Anyway, okay, I think the image is sharp now, very sharp now. So I can also take my measurement on a straight line. So let's take the measurement. So from here to the center of the lens. having 40 points 40 points 4 okay so i have u equals 40.4 centimeter so what is v what is v so let's measure v v is actually kind of smaller than u in most cases so let's put it there okay v is getting bigger here now so we have to use my meter root to measure it so okay okay i think here i'm having um uh, 22.5 i have 22.5 here so that's 22.5 centimeter. So then let us reduce the distance to 40 and see what happens. So up to 40. So it's now 40. So that's 40. So now let us see how the image formation will be. So this is for 60, so for 40, let's go. Okay. sharp image so now let's measure the distance the distance is very small also so let's take it from the lens to the image so i am having okay let's say that is going to give us 20.1 uh, u equals 20.1 in centimeter v is now so let's measure v so from here down here i'm having 18.5 so 18.5 centimeter so let's take the last reading this is for 40 so let's go for 20 so if the distance is actually reduced to 20 what would have happened? So now let's take 
the distance to be 20, which is very, very small. So now, okay, so let's record that. Hmm? Um, okay, guys, can you see we have gone through the experiment and we have made our table? Can you see? The first table you see, I left some space empty there because normally the height H not of of the image we could not take that. So uh so that is why I left that space blank. So I'm gonna make the calculation of UV and U plus V. But before we do that, if you look at the first table, uh, looking at the experiment on its own, you should know that u plus v should give you l the sum of u and v should give you hair that is it so and the implication of plotting the graph of uh, uv against L. so the implication is finding focal length i'm going to post a calculation now to know that plotting uh, um, uv against l the slope of such graph will give us the focal length of the lens used in the experiment so um, that calculation shows us so that calculation you are seeing indicates that from the lens formula if you are plotting uv against l you are still looking for the focal length of the lens so that is why uh from the experiment maybe due to one or two factors and improv improvising of some materials uh the sum of u plus v is not giving us hell so what i have to do is to make the second table you are seeing below the first table so the second table actually is just i adjusted the value u and v so that the sum can give me uh hell so i have my u plus v in that table equaling or equating to um l so with that i can now also evaluate my uv in centimeter squared so the next line of action is to plot the graph can you see how the graph looks like i use the scale of two centimeter to 146 centimeter squared on the uv axis and on the l axis i use two centimeter to 10 centimeter then the graph title is graph of uv against hell then uh, i plot the graph so i could see um, about three points that falls on the graph you can see the three points one with the one with 20 the one with 40 and the one with 80 falls on the line while the other two is out of the line anyway that is absurd so then determine the slope s which is changing u over changing changing uv over changing hell of which my slope gives me 17.6 actually the focal length of the lens used in this experiment is uh, roughly 15 yeah by actually not written on it on label but i actually take the um, measurement using a meter rule so i got let's say 15 and with a little decimal added to it but i'm got i'm getting 17.6 here so which means at least we are closer we are we are plot positive above the focal length so at least we have gotten something reasonable so you can try to plot the graph of um u plus v against u there is an implication for that and that will give you uh another value which is magnification yeah it's going to give you magnification so that is if you plot it so that is how it's going to be no that will not give you mag magnification magnification will be equal to the slope of that u plus v over u minus one so when you do that you get the magnification of the lens if the case is okay so that is what you would get so in a nutshell that is the experiment and and that is how it is performed you can see the calculation of the slope goes in 17.6 and then i have my uh, k which is what we are meant to evaluate with 1760 so which is close to the first uv value yeah so that is it now we have seen how it is done and possibly uh, how you might meet it so you might be told to plot any graph against any other one 
so the major thing is knowing the implication of the graph plotting so that you can know if you have gotten it right or wrong so thanks for watching please subscribe to the youtube channel and endeavor to share our videos thank you